Ethereum broke above a key resistance level. If that's not interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. Ladies and gentlemen, what an absolutely crazy week for Telegram. For those of you that have joined, congratulations. We've made some insane profits. But for those of you that still haven't, make sure to check out the link in the bio if you want to stay updated with my charts. Hey guys, Pinky Charts here. Welcome back to another Ethereum analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in $35,000 trading bonus, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Now, as you guys can see on Ethereum yesterday, we were testing a very key support level here at 1839. In yesterday's video, I mentioned the fact that if Ethereum were to break above this key resistance level here on the midterm resistance, we are looking for a massive short squeeze opportunity. You can see pretty much a few hours later after that video, we saw a very nice breakout formation on Ethereum, grabbing the liquidity all the way here at 1925. And as of right now, we have successfully tested our 1884 support. For those of you that were part of Telegram channel, we managed to catch a very nice shorting opportunity on this trade. So congratulations to those of you that have joined. But looking on Ethereum as of right now you'll notice the fact that we are in extreme overbought conditions as well as the fact that we still have yet to test our 9 and 20 exponential moving average assuming the fact that ethereum does end up bouncing off this range we could be looking for a continuation towards the upside as you guys already know our point of invalidation on ethereum from a bearish case was remaining at 1839 but we have to be very very careful here the reason why i'm mentioning this of course is looking at previous price analysis when we saw that massive dump opportunity on ethereum we saw the same exact short squeeze opportunity grabbing the liquidity and then the continuation and this is exactly what i'm expecting to happen as of right now as well a lot of people are of course bullish on ethereum once again mentioning the fact that we are going to be looking for new highs but we have to keep our emotions away from the chart and zoom out if you see here zooming out you can see that we rejected off this same exact wick opportunity that we started where i mentioned to you guys is where we will be looking to take some profits and that area of opportunity has now been tested if ethereum does end up breaking below Below our exponential moving averages then we are still looking for further downside movements looking on the daily time frame though of course you can see the fact that breaking above our exponential moving averages was a very strong bullish indicator right now using this level as support is the only thing the bulls really have to do before we see a possible continuation but of course if we do end up breaking below the exponential moving averages once again guys we are still in a massive consolidation zone of course with this consolidation currently we did see a very nice breakout but zooming out on previous price analysis as well you can see that this area was extremely volatile ethereum was bouncing in between the 1715 to the 1839 range multiple times then we had a nice false breakout and then a continuation to the downside this is why i've been mentioning to you guys to be very very careful of these short squeeze opportunities because usually with consolidation zones a lot of traders get caught out within that 18 1787 range hoping for the fact that we will capitulate straight away and i have taught you guys multiple times to wait for the candlestick to close once you enter the those shorts you can see that we didn't quite see a candlestick close other than this one which of course was a very nice fake out opportunity since this was a first test for those of you in telegram you remember i mentioned wait for the second retest we didn't quite see the second retest we pretty much just had multiple false breakouts and now we saw that short squeeze opportunity ending up playing of course, if Ethereum does end up breaking below the 1839 zone, we will be seeing another retest on 1787. That wick low at 1715 is something we have to pay attention to. But right now, I personally will not be looking for any sort of shorts unless we break below the exponential moving averages. For those of you that are a little bit more conservative, you can also wait until we break below 1839 and retest it as resistance once again. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in 35,000 on trading bonus. Make sure to check out the link in the bio and I hope you guys have one.